What's up guys, in this video we're going to be taking a look at a Conquer of Completion extension um, or a COC extension uh, called the COC Marketplace. So as always you'll be able to find all of the configuration over on my blog. Um, I'll leave a link in the description. I'll also leave a link in the description for my NeoVim config uh, that's over on my GitHub if you want to check that out. All right, so discovering extensions with the COC Marketplace. And that's what this thing really does is it helps you discover extensions. Now, if you don't already have COC or Conquer of Completion installed, uh, you can check out, uh, I left a link to my YouTube video which shows you how to install it. And if you don't know what it is, essentially what it is is, um, let's head over here. It's the fifth video in this playlist, so this video should be in this playlist. And what it does is it helps you set up like VS Code, IntelliSense, and a language server protocol support, right? So it's how you can do things like, um, I'll just open up a JavaScript file here. And it's like how you can do things, and it's not just JavaScript, it works for Python and all different other kinds of languages. So I'm typing import and it finds import, right? Or I'm typing uh, const and it finds const. Or I'm typing, I don't know, whatever else, right? So it's, it gives you that language server protocol support, but it gives you other things as well. So those other things that you can install are called extensions. So you can check out, if you search for um, COC extension, you'll find uh, this extensions page, which is just their wiki that's on the uh, coc.envim uh, repo. And so if you scroll all the way to the bottom, and I think I went over this in another video, you'll see a bunch of extensions here. But there's other extensions that aren't even just in this list here. Uh, it can't always be completely up to date, right? Uh, so what you can do is you can install this thing called the COC Marketplace. So all you'll have to do is you'll just go like this. After you have COC installed, you'll do COC and you can tab complete. We'll go down to install COC Marketplace. All right, press enter and there you go, it's installed. So what we can do is we can close out of that. And then now what you'll wanna do is just do COC list and then Marketplace. So COC list gets you, um, like it can do a lot of things. So we'll tab complete, we'll look for COC list, we'll press space, and then I'm just gonna press tab really fast. All right, and so here's all the things that it kind of like can do, right? So I'm not gonna go through all this, but I'm just like making sure that you know, this is just one of the options for things that you can list. So if you go all the way down to marketplace, we'll press enter, okay? And now you can see that this, these are all the extensions that are available for COC. So there's a few more here than are just there on that page, and you don't even need to go to that page so much anymore unless you wanna read about what, what these things do. Um, but you can just grab them from here now. So you'll notice that everything with a check mark is something I already have installed, right? So I already have things like, um, I don't know, like SVG or snippets, Python, prettier, pairs, whatever, Lua. Um, and then everything with an X, so we'll go a little bit lower, everything with an X is something I don't have installed yet. Now also the other thing you'll notice is that anything with a star here next to it is officially supported and things without a star aren't officially supported. Things without stars are still pretty good though. It doesn't matter really if they're officially supported or not for the most part. Um, they should still work. So instead of looking at a language server protocol uh, extension like TSS server which is for JavaScript and things like that or Python which is for Python I'm gonna be taking a look at the COC yank one here so all you would have to do is you would just be over top of it you would press enter uh, install it I already had it installed so I don't know if it'd be much slower than that anyway but that's how you would install it and then what we'll do is we'll go up here and I'll just yank, like yank that right there you'll notice it highlighted it and then when I go like this, I go and type function, right? It finds it in my yank history, right? And so why did it find it? So I started typing out function because this started with function, right? And it finds it in the yank history. So if I start to type this, well, that's that exact same line, right? So another thing would be like, all right, if I just grab this one, right? Highlights it. And then if I start uh, const, well, there it goes, right? So, and you can probably say, that's kind of long, but yeah. So that's that same thing. So that's what COC yank gets you, I guess. But it's just kind of showing you that basically there's more to extensions than just uh, the LSP factor. So that's pretty much all I wanted to show for this video is just kind of how to show off the marketplace a little bit and show you a few extensions. Like there's other ones in there really fast that I'll show. Like uh, we'll do COC list again and we'll do marketplace. All right. 
So there's other ones in here too, like there's weird ones. And this is a fuzzy search, so you can type like Discord. And apparently there's going to be some sort of Discord one. I haven't bothered setting it up yet, but this is an option, right? Another option would be something like, I saw something like leak code in here. So I guess you could do leak code from NeoVim. That would be pretty neat, right? I haven't set that one up yet, but, cause you probably need to like put in an account and all that kind of stuff. But you know, it's an option, which is pretty cool. So yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's all I really wanted to show for the, uh, for the marketplace. I left a few links down here uh, to the repo. So you can, you know, go give that a star if you want. And uh, maybe check out some more of the documentation. Although I don't think there's much more to it. Um, other than that, if you want to check me out over on Discord, we have a pretty cool Discord server. Um, there's a lot of helpful people there. Uh, we go over things like NeoVim, uh, all kinds of software development, and just other things. So you can uh, check out the community over there. Uh, if you have the means, you can support me over on Patreon. And I think that's pretty much it for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.